Hello and welcome to a new video about Primatics. In the last few videos we talked about the power generation part as foundation. Then we had dry, pressurized, stabilized, clean, air which ready to use, which is ready to use. Then we talked about the working elements. So the elements which do the work. This is our goal. There is something in between missing. This is the control part. Because power is nothing without control. I'm not even sure if this is still a slogan of this tire manufacturer, but actually it's a true word. We need control over the power. We need to control what is happening when. I show you what I mean. Let's say we have a working element. Let's say we have a single acting cylinder. So there is a single acting cylinder. And to move this single acting cylinder inside, so that it is on the left side, yeah, here's the spring, which will bring, here's the exhaust, yeah, here's the connection. I have to be sure that air can get, I can get rid of the air which is inside this area. Yeah? So I need something. I need some sort of, of valve here. Looking like this. Yeah. Where we are going to connect this. Here we have our pressure. Yeah, here our air is getting in, here we have the pressure yeah, and here we just can exhaust the air. Yeah. This inside here is simply blocked. Yeah. It needs to look like this. Yeah. Then the air can go out and expand here to the surrounding. Yeah. If I want to have it that the cylinder is traveling out yeah. So that the cylinder is on this side, the piston, and the spring is heavily loaded, yeah. then, well, of course, here I have to get rid of air, but that's easy, it's just a hole. Yeah. How do we need to connect then here in our, in our valve? Yeah. Here is again this connection, this P connection. P. Yeah. We simply need to connect it straight. Yeah. And this hole, the exhaust hole, we will block. So this needs to happen. So we have either this or this. Yeah. And we could do it like this, that we simply to both positions next to each other. And here we also have this position. Here we are spring loaded. Okay. And here we could operate with some sort of knob. Okay. So if it if I release the knob, it will go to this position and the air is blocked, can get exhaust. If I press this knob, we can enter the air and the cylinder is driving. So this would be a control element which we need. Yeah? And I can tell you, this control element, because it has one, two, three connections and two switching positions, it's called a 3-2 way valve. We'll talk about way valves in future, yeah, in next video. And there it 
I will explain a little bit more in detail what it means this. Huh? Yeah. So this would be a control element. Huh? There's a pressure line, there's an exhaust line, there's one working element. Yeah? Let's see how it would look like for a double acting cylinder. Well, if we have a double acting cylinder, we have then two connections here. One, two. If we want to have it on the left hand side, so the piston rod is inside, we have to exhaust this and put pressure here. Yeah? If we want to have it exactly the other way around, so that the piston is on the right hand side, yeah? we have to put pressure here and here. So how would it look like? Just draw the lines to again a valve, and with that, here is the pressure line. Okay, P, and I will simply connect it. Okay, then here. we have the exhaust line. Yeah. This would be okay. Mm -hmm. This would be the switching position. And here, how would we, how should it look like here? Here is the valve. Yeah. Here is this one line. Yeah. Here is the other line. This time, here's the pressure line again. This time we have to connect the pressure line to here. Yeah. This time we have, we make here simply a second exhaust. Mm. This we will close here. Yeah. So the first exhaust we are closing here. Yeah. And basically that's it. Yeah. So we need either this or this. The pressure will go on this side and the pressure on this side can be released or the pressure will go on this side and pressure here will be released. So we have, the con we have two connections. We have here one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five connections because here Maybe we can do it like this, yeah? that those two are located close to each other. Yeah? And here we have the other one, this side. There's again a spring. And it can again be pushed with a push button. Okay. This or this. Okay. Inside, outside. Okay. Uh, well, since we have five connections and two switching positions, it's called a 5-2 way valve. So mainly controlling something. Yeah? Here is the power generation part, the bottom. At the top there is the working part. And to control the working part, we need basically some valves. And the most important, uh, the most important valve are the way valves. Uh, this is why we are going to talk about way valves in more details. What are way valves? What are these namings here? I already I briefly already mentioned what this means yeah? and how many ways are there to operate. Right now we have here spring loaded yeah? and manually operated with a hand, but are there different ways as well? I can already say you yes there are and which ones will then be in next video. Okay. So 
This was the introduction to the control uh, elements. You see now, they are absolutely necessary to, to let the working elements do their stuff, whatever is required. Next time, wave valves. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.